In fact, I've been tonight, mass murder in Norway. A vicious killer, Anders Breivik, has murdered at least 76 people in the Scandinavian nation of Norway. Breivik is a brutal fanatic who apparently objects to the presence of Muslims in Europe. Last Friday, he bombed buildings in Oslo and then took an automatic weapon to an island a few miles away, gunning down 68 people. Norwegian authorities couldn't get to the island because they didn't have a helicopter, if you can believe it. Now, on Sunday, the New York Times headlined, As horrors emerged, Norway charges Christian extremist. A number of other news organizations like the L.A. Times and Reuters also played up the Christian angle. But Breivik is not a Christian. That's impossible. No one believing in Jesus commits mass murder. The man might have called himself a Christian on the net, but he is certainly not of that faith. Also, Breivik is not attached to any church, and in fact has criticized the Protestant belief system in general. The Christian angle came from a Norwegian policeman, not from any fact-finding. Once again, we can find no evidence, none, that this killer practiced Christianity in any way. So why is the angle being played up? Two reasons. First, the liberal media wants to make an equivalency between the actions of Breivik and the Oklahoma City bomber Tim McVeigh and Al-Qaeda. The left wants you to believe that fundamentalist Christians are a threat, just like crazy jihadists are. In fact, in the New York Times today, an analysis piece says that some believe we have overreacted to the Muslim threat in the world. Of course, that's absurd. Jihadists have killed tens of thousands of people all over the world. The Taliban, Iran, and elements in Pakistan use governmental power to support terrorism by Muslims. But the left-wing press wants to compare nuts like Breivik and McVeigh to state-sponsored terrorism and worldwide jihad. Again, dishonest and insane. The second reason the liberal media is pushing the Christian angle is they don't like Christians very much because we are too judgmental. Many Christians oppose abortion, gay marriage, and legalized narcotics, secular left causes. The media understands the opposition is often based on religion, so they want to diminish Christianity, and highlighting so-called Christian-based terror is a way to do that. The primary threat to this world comes from Islamic terrorism. Iran is a major problem. If the country gets nuclear weapons, and it's desperately trying to, does anyone doubt those weapons could be used? A Muslim in Pakistan exported nuclear technology to North Korea. And Muslim suicide bombers blow innocent people up almost every day. Yet once again, the liberal media wants you to fear Christian terrorists. And going forward, when jihad is mentioned, you know Breivik and McVeigh will enter the conversation. Sometimes I think the world's going mad. This Breivik guy is a loon, a mass murderer who apparently acted out of rank hatred. No government supported him. No self-proclaimed terror group like Al-Qaeda paid his bills. Breivik is just another loser who caused tremendous horror by murdering innocent people. There is no equivalency to jihad, no worldwide Breivik movement. Just another violent, pathetic legacy stemming back to Cain.